Hey yo, what up peeps? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a fake zoom transition or very quick zoom transition. In order to do this, you'll need two different clips that has the same settings as in like background. So if you guys look right here, this is Naruto and if you look in the background, I just like sky and stuff. But if we go to the second clip, it's also a similar background. I'll show you another example like right here, Itachi is sitting on that thing. Behind him, there's a, a moon and also on the second clip, there's the moon right there. So yeah, that's all I want to say and let's get into this video let me play the video without the transition this is how the clips looks like without the transition so first thing what we're gonna have to do is disable resample how do you do this so you can click d twice on your keyboard and you'll get this rectangle looking thing right here and you want to select all your video and then once you're done right click go to switches right here and disable resample and i'm going to uncheck this as well also if you are wondering what kind of template i'm using i'll just show you right here so i'm using 1920 by 1080 and 24 fps that's all you need to know once you're done doing the resample click d twice on your keyboard again to go to, to the normal editing tool or you can just click right here once you're done we're gonna go to video effects right here and we're gonna look for s blormo curves and of course you will need sapphire plugin to do this you can also do this without sapphire plugin uh by using pen and crop but i'm just gonna show you with sapphire plug now what i'm gonna do is drag the default one to the first clip and we're gonna change a few things x and y to uh reflect right here once you're done save this name it whatever i'm just gonna put norm save it and now we're gonna play around with the z disk right here now i'm going to animate this by clicking on this little clock thing right here and i'm gonna go to the very first frame oh hold on you can't see it because i did the fade for the first keyframe i'm going to put 0 0.950 and i'm gonna go almost the near the end of the video clip and i'm just gonna put about right here put it to default value and i'm gonna move a few frames forward one two three maybe about three i'm gonna change this number to 1.05 I'm going to move a few frames forward, one, two, three, four, maybe about four. I'm going to change this to 1.1 1 .1 or 100. And I'm going to go to the last frame and I'm going to change this to like 1.5 or 500 or 1500. I'm going to change this to slow fade and this one you can just put it to fast. In my opinion, it's kind of too fast. You do want it to be kind of fast. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And let's work on the second clip. By the way, if you don't see your preset, just click on this and this. It should show up right here. So I'm just going to use the norm. We saved it earlier. I'm going to work with the Z disk again. So I'll just change this to like about like 0 0.200. And I'm going to animate this. I'm going to move a few frames forward. Also, if your this thing doesn't move, lock this one right here. So it will move every time you move your keyframe. So yeah, let's go to the first keyframe. I'm going to move a few frames forward. So maybe like one, two, three, maybe. And I'll change this value to like 0 0.8 or 7, 5. I'm going to change the first keyframe to fast. I'm going to go forward a few frames. And I'll change this to like 0 0.89 and I'm gonna move a few more frames forward I'll change this to like this and then this let's see how the video looks right now as of right now the video is looking not bad but we're gonna change this center thing right here this plus sign so I'm gonna move this plus sign to like Naruto's face so I'm holding control and just moving up try to put this to like to naruto's face once you're done animate this so i'm gonna go to y and move a few frames forward once you're done uh, we want this to be in the middle thing 50 it was and i'm going to animate this too fast all right let's see how the video looks as of right now the video is not looking that bad we're improving i want to put something else on this clip so i'm gonna use warp chroma thing that's what it's called should be around right here i already have i already have a preset but i'm just gonna show you with the default so drag on your first clip and change the step to 20 or whatever you like i usually like it 20 you can change it to you can change it to whatever you like but i like it at 20 and also this x and y to reflect and this one to 1.000 and once you're done i'll just save it save this preset i'll just name it norm once you're done we're gonna animate z dist so click on this animation thing i'm gonna drag the first keyframe near the end about right here and i'm gonna change this to like very little like maybe 
this. Drag it to the end. Make this one slow. Let's see how it looks. I think it looks better this way. I'm gonna apply warp chroma to the second clip as well. So if you don't see your preset, just click on this and, and this and it should show up. So I'm gonna do the same thing, very little, but this one we're gonna do the other way. So change this to like 0.92. Maybe this will be enough. Maybe we need a little bit more. I'll just change this to A5. And for the keyframe, I'll change it to fast. Let's see how it looks. I'll move the keyframe to about like right here. Now, all right, uh, it is looking amazing, but we're going to add shake to make it more realistic, I guess. So I'm just going to use dissolve shake. You can also use the other one, but I'm just going to use this one because this one is a little bit easier. You don't really have to do too much. So for the dissolve amount, I'll just change to like 0.1. And for the amplitude, I'll just change to like something like that because I got to see the shake first. Also, do not forget to move your shake FX to the left side. I think we need a little bit more amplitude. Also frequency as well. Yeah, I think this is kind of uh, better. So I'm gonna animate this. I'll move a few frames forward from the first keyframe. So one, two, three. I'll change it to 0 0.1, something like that. I don't know, I'm just gonna go random. And the last keyframe, I'm just gonna change it to zero. I'll drag it near the end. All right, my opinion uh, is looking. We're getting better and better. I also want to add a few things. I'm gonna use fisheye. So it's called warp fisheye, I believe. This one, I'm gonna use the default one and change this to like negative 0.15, I think. We should be good with that. And animate this, of course. I'll go about right here, somewhere in the middle. And I'm gonna change this to fast. I'll actually change this to like 20 and drag this all the way to the end. This is looking so much better. Also, one more thing. I think I said this video is going to be simple, but it's kind of advanced. I mean, it's not really advanced. We're just adding a few more video effects to make it look more realistic. I also kind of want to add a little bit blur. So I'm just going to use blur, normal blur. Of course, I'm going to use the default one, drag it to the first clip. As of right now, it is way too much. We're going to change this to 15 maybe. And of course, we're going to animate this. I'll drag the first keyframe to the end. And we're gonna create another keyframe right here and we're gonna have to make this zero so and also we're gonna make this hold on slow let's see how it looks we're gonna do the same thing on the other second clip so just i'm just gonna change this to 20 animate this of course i'll go about i'm gonna go a few frames forward so one two three four five five should be good enough and change it to zero i'll make this first keyframe fast and let's see how the video looks that is it for this video we just did the zoom out and now we're gonna do zoom in so if you want to watch just in case keep watching first thing what we're gonna do is as blur more curves i hope you have your safe preset and this time we're gonna do it's actually the opposite of what we did before so i'm gonna change the first keyframe like that and i'm gonna go a few frames forward one two three four from here, I'm gonna go a few frames forward again. I'll change this to like that. And a few frames forward again till about right here. I'll just change this to like, just like that. And I'm gonna change this keyframe to slow and the first one to fast. Let's see how it is looking. I'll actually change this to like 0.100. Uh, that is kind of looking good i'll show you a trick with pen and crop a little bit later but let's work on the second clip we're gonna put 1.3 maybe 1.300 and a few frames forward maybe like one two and i'm gonna change this to like this and then i'm gonna go a few frames forward again one two three four five change it to this so for the first keyframe uh you gotta change it to fast maybe i'll change this to like That is kind of looking okay, but I'm gonna use pen and crop to zoom in a little bit more on this clip. So I'll just drag the first keyframe right here. 
make sure you're on the uh, position not the mask so i'll drag this to the end a little bit like that and i'll just zoom in also have you make sure you have this thing checked so it doesn't mess up like like this i don't want that so i'll just zoom into his face something like this i'll just drag this to to the end and of course we're gonna have to add other things to the second clip like what did we add chroma I'll change it too fast and we're gonna add shake now I'll just change this to like 150 of course I'm going to animate this and I'm gonna go a few frames forward one two three that should be good enough I'll change this to 20 and at the end I'll go like this that is kind of looking a little bit better I guess and I'm gonna add warp chroma where is it I can't find it somebody sent help I can't find it I'll also use on this too I'll take this to the end right there so like this and also i'm just gonna use a little bit blur if uh if you don't want this okay but it is totally up up to you i'm just gonna use the blur of course the default blur i'll use like 15 maybe animate this i'll drag this to the end and make this one a zero i'm gonna do the same thing on the second clip as well so Make this about 20. Alright, let's see how the video looks. Hold on, I'm gonna keep my fade the way it was before. I'm gonna pre render this real quick. Shift B if you don't know how. Also, don't forget to save your project by hitting Control S. Also, I'm going to use uh, magic bullet looks. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. If we could get two likes on this video, I would be the happiest human alive on earth. So yeah, and also if you guys need help, please come join the Discord server. It will be linked below. So yeah, if you have any question you can ask and I will see you guys later. Peace.